Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing some stainless steel TIG welding. I picked up one of these stainless steel TIG starter kits from Weld Metals Online. Really cool thing about these kits, they come with everything you need. That's what I like the best about them. This one comes with a lot of material. There's a total of 40 coupons, 20 1 8 inch stainless steel coupons and 20 1 16 inch coupons. A piece of laser tungsten from CK Worldwide in the uh, 330 seconds, which is all I pretty much use. And then three sets of filler wire in the uh, ER308L, 1 16 inch, 0.045 inch, and 0.035 inch. So it looks like there's plenty of uh, filler wire to, to uh, mess around a lot with this kit. Now I've been playing around with it, <laughs> and that is a cobbled up mess, but that's two of the 1 8 inch coupons, and I've just been running beads. I actually welded them together and warped them like potato chips, but that's one of the characteristics of the stainless steel, and I'm trying to, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm going to do a lap joint, maybe a couple of lap joints here in front of you guys, and let you just kind of see how it goes. Now, this is far from professional stainless steel TIG welding. Like I said, I'm brand new at this. Just picked up the kit from Weld Metals Online. I'll leave links and uh, coupon codes and all that stuff in the description. If, you, if you're looking for uh, a change of um, materials and want to try out a new type of material. So let me go ahead and pull out a couple of these 1 8 inch stainless steel coupons. And we'll do some stainless steel TIG welding in the lap joint format. And we'll just see how it comes out. I'll be using the uh, Yes Welder TIG 250P machine. Probably going to start uh, about 100 amps and then just use the foot pedal. I may have to adjust as we go, but we'll see how that comes out. 100% argon. I am using a Jazzy 10 cup with a uh, gas lens in there. And of course the laser 330 seconds tungsten. Sharpened to a pretty good point there. I'll be running that gas at 20 cubic feet per hour, 100% argon. That's what I've been using on this practice. Anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do. Let me get it all set up and then we'll uh, sit down and TIG weld some stainless steel. Well, that wasn't good. Stuck right off the bat. Hundred amps is just barely enough to do it. I should really turn that up just a little bit. Probably should have gone with 125 amps. Can't get, can't quite get that puddle to flow like I want. I have a feeling it's going to be all gray from being way too hot just for the slow speed.
but we'll have a look here in a second. A bit too warm and not enough filler, I don't think. I could probably go over that again after it cools down and try another one right over the top of it. See if I can fill it a little bit better. Looks a little concave to me. But that's the first attempt. 125 on the amperage. Stuck the tungsten again. And again, goodness. Looks like pinks and golds on the uh, coloring. Need to sharpen that tungsten now. <laughs> that one came out actually fairly decent considering I dipped the dipped the tungsten twice as I was going through it. All right we'll get set up let this piece cool down and I'll set up to do these other two. All right we got it flipped over and let it cool down here just a little bit. Basically everything's the same. I'm going to leave the machine the uh, Yes Welder TIG 250P set on 125 amps no pulse. Same argon flow same filler wire we're still working with the 1 16th inch. And uh, let's give it a shot see how this one goes. That one felt like it went pretty well. We'll see what it looks like. Had one little one little stumble area in there. Boy, the first first 2 inches looks awesome. Well, considering considering the first time, I suppose talked myself into thinking it's not too bad. Blue and silver Okay, here we go with the uh, last stainless steel TIG lap joint. And it looks about like the other ones. Well, that was fun. That is some good practice. It's uh, it's a lot of fun to try out a new type of material with uh, completely different characteristics than what you're you, what you've been practicing all the time prior. And boy, I'm really really enjoying that Yes Welder TIG 250P welder. It uh, has a lot of capabilities and has been a great machine so far for me since I've had it, uh, I don't know, five or six months. If you have interest in that, I'll put all the links and everything in the description for that as well as a 10% off coupon if you want to 
if you want to pick one up for yourself. I'll put links in the description and uh, the promo code for 10% off your order at Weld Metals Online down in the description for those of you who might want to pick up a kit for yourself or just go to the website and have a look around and see what they have. Thanks for joining along. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.